I'm Joanna Kalel from Lincoln High. You know! And this is my poem called La Primera Americana. I was raised by Spanish-speaking immigrants and long nights spent lazing around a glowing TV, the sound of laughter filling in the cracks in old plaster walls, Spanish being spoken so fast, even I have trouble understanding. <laughs> There's no need for garbled English or a sense of not belonging. It's just two immigrants and their children. But to some, it's not just two immigrants. To others, it's two outsiders so interested in not being interesting who'd rather set themselves back by not properly speaking a language they need. It's two people who don't belong and never will. But that's not who I was raised by. I was raised by people who'd rather stay true to themselves and their culture than change for the notion of acceptance in a place where no matter what they do, they'll end up condemned for one thing or another. Those type of immigrants. They're 40-year-olds whose life was spent in the ruins of a nation so deprived of basic needs, aluminum and wood being the only thing separating them from the vast emptiness of the lands that held nothing for them. Sería mejor morir que dejar mis hijos vivir aquí. I was raised by the starved who couldn't stand the idea of their children needing everything and having nothing, who instead of accepting defeat, sought after betterment, not for themselves, but for their children. Nunca vas a saber lo que es tener nada cuando necesitas todo. My mother, who with only cents in her pocket and a baby nestled in her stomach, left the only place she knew. My father was just a bag full of clothes and the weight of two children on the back of his mind went on his way towards a chance at survival. Who, even after decades of living in this land, still hopes to see the sun rising over the mango trees. Me recuerdo de mi Guatemala linda. Espero un día volver allí. My parents have not sacrificed sleep, have not let their dignity be shattered over and over again just to be told that they are the criminals in this nation. Instead, they've raised a daughter who can proudly say she is a first generation American and that her parents have taught her well. My parents are living and breathing examples that being a minority can wear on you with their graying hair, muscles weakened by the thread of hope that they so desperately hang on to. Ya no puedo más, sort of people. I was raised by immigrants.